on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Let's get these guys on ice and they'll get back on the bike. Nice. CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow in seconds. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. There looks like some birds right there. That's a real nice thing about this Faruno radar with the bird mode. We can pick off these birds miles away, you know. Hey guys, I'm Captain Mike, Florida Sport Fishing TV. We've got my good friend, Captain Michael Sisto, Jersey Key Charters on board our Mercury powered CV. We are offshore marathon dolphin fishing. This is an absolute staple down here in the Florida Keys and certainly off a marathon here both for the recreational guys and the charter business. Yeah, huge right? part of our summer, everyone wants the money. Now, Michael, you run a couple of different boats here at a marathon. What percentage of the trips throughout the year are focused on dolphin fishing? We'll start up heavily pretty much from late April, early May, and we'll fish through them all the way through October. Gotcha, so a big, big part of the year is focused on the dolphin fishing. Yes. Now, we're gonna talk a lot today about the different point of views, the different ways to dolphin fish, and every day is different, right? When I come out here, I'm well prepared, I'm looking for the dolphin on the troll, I'm looking for birds, and once I find those fish, then it's all about throwing live bait, getting them fired up, catching them on poppers, catching them on pinfish, on pilchers. I mean, anything that we can throw at them, but nothing is more exciting than the poppers. Oh, wow. Poppers, anything on the surface is always great. Right. Now, different points of views, like I said, we're gonna talk about what I do, how I rig, what I'm looking for on the water, but that's different for the charter boat fleet. You know, Michael, you're the voice of the charter boat guys down here, and how you look at the whole dolphin fishery is different than how a guy like me does. I don't wanna come out and, you know, I, I don't wanna say I don't want to, but I don't need to catch 30, 40, 50 fish, whereas with your group of people, it's a different animal altogether. Yeah, you know, it's, uh... A lot of times we have people that come down here for vacation with the thoughts that they're going home a lot of fish. Full of mine. Right. So. Right, yeah. So your point of view is different than mine, but I'll tell you what, we just got out here, we're looking around, we're looking for weeds, we're looking for birds, and we know birds are gonna be the ticket to success. So we're gonna spend a lot of time running and gunning, and I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to an action-packed day. So stick around, we're about to get tight. So you'd stop on this, dude. Me? Yeah. I would stop on this, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Uh, especially on a day like today, when you're not really seeing much, I would stop right, like here. Like what else are you gonna stop on, right? Yeah. You see a nice patch. Yeah. But you know, we talked about it earlier where that dolphin bite typically doesn't fire off until 10 a.m. or so, right? You know, and, and we said that usually, you know, happens because all of that grass, we've talked a lot about this on previous episodes, it doesn't heat up those little gas bubbles in all of that sargasm. We don't heat up enough to suspend, to float that weed up to the surface up until later in the morning as that sun really heats things up. So typically, you know, you don't have to get an early start for dolphin fishing. It's often better to fish later in the morning when you could actually have better visibility, more grass floating around. You know, it's definitely concerning how there's just zero life. That's a you know pretty solid patch of grass. Right, you would it think should you, have all the life on it. You would see some bait. You would see little runners, yes, jacks, jacks, yeah, jacks, trigger fish, everything that comes along with it. But I'm not really seeing much right now. Okay, we move on.
fiberglass. They use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors with industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates. Not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box or freezer for every boat. Are you ready for a world-class adventure? Fishing up to 150 miles offshore and always on the hunt for untouched fisheries, the legendary 100-foot Yankee Caps is Florida's premier long-range head boat. Fish around the clock for trophy snapper, grouper, tilefish, tuna, and more. With all the comforts of home and plenty of elbow room, Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew will put you or your entire charter on a hot bike fishing the famed halfway ledge. Pulley Ridge and beyond. Rated number one in service, Yankee Cap sails from Key West year round. Above deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series, when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit EasyAnchorPuller.com, call 1-800-800-1640 today. You know, coming out here looking for these dolphins, sometimes I'll put out a few trolling lures, you know, just to kind of scout the area. You know, and I find that these little chuggers with that little root beer colored skirt, deadly effective at finding these schooly dolphin. And often the schoolies will lead the way to some bigger gaffers. So I'm not trying to pull a full on trolling spread, but I'll put four or five or six of these out depending on the conditions how much grass is around, and then I'll always include at least one deep diving plug in the spread as well. For the wahoo, often blackfin tuna, or even of course the bigger dolphin will hit those deep diving plugs. You know, so again, it's just a very simple four or five line spread just to cover some ground. You know, as I'm looking around, working my way offshore, looking for well-formed weed patches, maybe any floaters that might be on the surface, any sort of debris. You know, obviously you can't catch fish if you don't have lines in the water, right? So it's just a, a good mix, but it's easy to retrieve and clean up and switch gears back to the pinfish and the poppers. Michael, when you're out here trolling, what do you guys typically pull? Normally, you know, we stick to the running guns. So we'll fish fish spinning rods most of the time, uh, naked, two naked ballyhoo, sometimes three, maybe one with a skirt. On the spinners, uh, just putting them back there on the spinners? On two spinners, and uh, so I can, I can really maneuver, turn, and clear them really easily if I see right. something that I want to get to. Yep. And then we can even cast those ballyhoo, it's kind of the thing where we see yep. fish. Rigging Station, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. In this episode's Rigging Station, I want to talk to you about the value of being properly prepared when heading out dolphin fishing. You never know what you're going to find out there, and I'll tell you what, super important that you're ready for anything that comes your way. On this trip, our typical seven foot combos, the KC 15 to 30 pound class Chaos conventional rods match the Daiwa Saltiga size 50 reels loaded with 20 pound diamond line really saw most of the work. We caught most of our fish on the troll looking for the fish and this really was the outfit of choice. However, I also bring a set of uh, deep diving plugs on some heavier 30 to 60 pound class chaos trolling rods. Anytime I can get a deep diving plug in the spread, I certainly like to do that for wahoos or even just to cover more of the water column. Loaded, or I should say matched to a Daiwa Saltiga size 60 two-speed reel, the new lever drags, these things are bulletproof. And then of course, a wide variety of other outfits. You saw us throw poppers at fish, 20 pound class outfit for the small four inch poppers with 30 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon. And then we step it up to a longer rod, eight foot with a larger plug, a little bit heavier, 20 pound mono, 40 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon leader. But I can chuck this bait a country mile. If we see bigger slammers, bigger gaffers in the mix, this may be the outfit that I choose rather than the lighter one. Of course, with the bait, you watched us catch some fish on pinfish. We've got other live bait on the boat, a variety of live bait outfits, everything from 
20 pound class, 30 pound leader, 5.0 live bait hook, all the way on up to a little bit heavier, 30 pound class, 40 pound leader, 7.0 live bait hook for a larger bait, larger fish. And again, a lot of this fishing is visual. You see these fish, you see the size of the fish that you're targeting for the most part. So you're able to pick and choose your weapon of choice. A couple of specific outfits for certain scenarios, a jigging rod anytime that we find any floating debris, or a well-formed weed line, or drop a jig deep in the water column. Oftentimes you can snag a wahoo that way or even bring the dolphin closer up to the surface. And finally, an eight to 17 pound class, inshore spinner, 12 pound mono imitation shrimp for any triple tail that we may see floating around any debris or again along weed lines. So there's multiple rods on the boat in each of these classes. And I'll tell you what, we are ready for everything that we're gonna find out there. And oftentimes that's gonna make the difference. One of these outfits could really change the entire trip. So spend the time prepping properly, do the very best that you can to make sure all of your connections are bulletproof. Don't let angler failure or tackle failure enter the equation. And at the end of the day, you're gonna be a more successful dolphin fish. Definitely is. not a dolphin, is it? Oh, yeah, it's a mine. Oh, yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. It's a nice mine. There oh, there's is. another one behind it. Throw oh, another yeah. bait behind yep, it. Keep them nice in the water. With them. All right. Keep them in the water. Yep, keep them right there. All right. Yep. I'm going to grab a gaff. We'll keep that one in the water. Michael, you throw bait on this one. We're going to yep. double up here. Okay. Still got a mile. Go, 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 go. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. All the way around the bow, round the bow. Nice, nice fish. Yep. Nice fish. Oh, sorry, missed him, missed him. Right here. Is he eating yours? Yep. There's another one over here with him too. <sighs> All right, come on. All right, here we go. you're on. Yep. We're on. A little more. A little more, yep, yep. All right, there we go, nice. All right, he's hooked up. Let's get him in the boat, slack off. Let's get another bait in the water. Oh, I'm tight here. Now this is what it's all about right here. You know, we've said it before. It's about being prepared, taking your time, and finding all of those signs, right? And we did, and this was the result right here. Just seeing another fish. It's another nice fish, about 25 feet, yep, right here. Yep. All right, got this one. You keep yours okay. in. Try and hook up another one before we... Sure. Basic rule of keeping one hooked in the water. It's just all of the excitement keeps the other ones fired up. Yeah. There we go. 5-0. Small, stealthy, deadly. Little cow. All right. All right. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice size. <laughs> yeah. So let's get these guys on ice and get back on the bike. Nice. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Another one on the jig. Ooh. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Aqua Traction Marine Flooring outperforms the competition, enhancing the comfort, appearance, and fishability of any boat. Competitors use open cell foam, prone to staining. Our durable closed cell foam is 100% stain resistant and withstands the harshest marine environments. We guarantee it. Precise designs and dependable adhesive ensure your custom floor will exceed your expectations with many seasons of trouble-free use. Contact our preferred dealer for a free quote and discover the difference. 
dependable terminal tackle. It's vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond Fishing Products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. Big flock of birds, big flock of birds right ahead. Now keep in mind what I'm doing here, I'm using this Faruno with the bird radar. I'm picking off flocks of birds a mile away, two miles away. And then I key in on them with the binoculars, with the stabilized binoculars, and I confirm my targets, making sure, okay, those are a pot of birds, and now I can see them. I can't see them with the naked eye yet, but I can see them with this. It's an absolute vital tool, these Fujinon stabilized binoculars, for anybody that comes offshore dolphin fishing, they're just as important as your tackle, they're just as important as you know live baits, they're just as important as having a gaff on the boat, maybe more important than all of those, because this right here is gonna help you find the fish. But there they are, right out there. Oh, we're coming, we're coming for you. There he is, yeah. two on. Two on, go. Okay. Yeah, this one, that long one looked better. Yeah. Right under that frigate. We knew they were here, you know what I mean? Just kept circling around the perimeter of them. And it was just a matter of just the right angle or the right turn. Just seeing them start Boom, racing. Boom, they nailed it. Yeah, oh, yeah, just racing right behind the boat. Still got one hooked up, right? Keep Still the rod tip, low, right rod tip low, rod tip low. Rod tip low. Got him. Nice. All right. Nice. Okay. Found the birds and put out some of these little chuggers. Connected with a little gaffer here. And you know, that's the key is really just maximizing on every opportunity. It's wrapped up in my hand. Not giant fish, but I'll tell you what, gaffers, you know? I mean, big flippers. Certainly better than, you know, little dinkies. Beautiful cow, beautiful colors. Look at that. Schooly, nobody with them. Should have hit that lure there, hanging behind them. Oh, yeah. Ah. Hang on one sec. Better be smaller than that. Yeah, look at them lit up. You get some? Sure. Yep. He's lit up. Conservation Corner. Proudly presented by Dubro Fishing. Innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. There we go. There All right. <laughs> Another beautiful cat. Look at the beautiful colors on that fish. Is that absolutely incredible? Look at the blues. I'll tell you what. Dolphin could be the world's greatest game fish. Loved by anglers everywhere. They fight hard. They're aggressive. They jump, absolutely beautiful, great on the dinner table. And this is a fish that grows so incredibly fast. There was actually a dolphin in captivity at the University of Miami that was captured at five pounds and kept in a large pen, fed unlimited amount of food, perfect conditions. In one year, that fish grew to 52 pounds. So nearly 50 pounds it gained in a single 12 month period. That dolphin, that female right there will reproduce multiple times every week, every other day, hundreds of thousands of eggs every other day. So literally that's millions and millions of eggs over her lifespan, all with the hopes of reproducing just herself, one other dolphin. Think about it, if every dolphin, if every female dolphin you know, if three or four survived, the ocean would just be overflowing with dolphin, and we all know that's not the case. So that fish's goal in life is really just to reproduce herself. Really incredible. They'll spawn generally at night. We'll eat 24 hours a day because they expend so much energy. 
And I'll tell you what, it's important to remember a dolphin will swim upwards of 20, 25 miles in a single day. So, you know, you said it, Michael, where you come out one day, fish out here with a charter group, not have a great day, come out the next day and bail on them and murder them, right? That's it. They are moving. <laughs> They're moving. So fish that you catch today could have been 20 miles away. Makes no difference what, what you do the next day. Right, or no the previous change. day, right? That's like, right. in other words, yeah. you can't base today on what happened yesterday. No. That's for sure. So really an absolutely awesome fish. And I'll tell you what, they need to be conserved. You know, we talked about this earlier, about size limits and, and bag limits. And, you know, we agreed from a recreational standpoint and from a charter boat standpoint that a 24 inch minimum size, which would be a little bit smaller than that, yeah. you know, and maybe six fish per person. So whoever's out there making the rules should think about that. But this little beauty's going on ice. If exploring the ocean never gets old, if getting salty is something you crave to repeat time and again, if fun in the sun is how you make new friends and stay close to old ones. <laughs> if you agree time on the water is time well spent, then we build CVs for you and those you call friends and family. For the memories you've yet to make and the friends you've yet to meet, CV boats lead the way. At Mercury, we ran our latest engine, the equivalent of four times around the Earth, at wide open throttle, so you can run around wide open too. The Mercury V6 four strokes, light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Before Mercury introduced our newest engine, we tried 3,286 ways to destroy it. And now that it's passed our tests, it's ready for yours. The Mercury V6 four strokes, light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Spool Tech, Hyperelastic, Engage, and Ocean Born Lures. Stay connected with the next generation of innovative and effective soft and hard baits for every venue. Salt Life Sunglasses, unparalleled polarized protection with anti-glare properties and special coatings to repel water and oil. Jigs are us. A massive selection of slow pitch jigs in stock and ready for delivery. Free shipping at jigsrus.com and your entire order will arrive rigged and ready to fish. I'm gonna go take this fish around the other side. Oh, there's one back oh, there. On the popper! On the popper, I'm worked up! Nice! <laughs> You're hooked up on the popper in the yeah. bow. There you go. All right, I'm going to start bringing some of these in. That was a sick bite. Okay, just stay on them, stay on them. Hold on. Oh, there's a whole pack of them, a whole school of them. There. You got a whole school back there? Whole school of them. All right. Oh, yeah, here they are. There they are. Woo! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. What a great jump. All right, go ahead. Get that one in, dude. Get them unhooked. Get another bait out. Pretty nice fish on the popper. Yeah. We found just a couple of birds, just two birds, and put out the lures, you know, again, just to scout the area. Hooked up, double header on the lures, then through the baits, the pinfish, and now we're in on them. Good. Okay, you're still in the water there. Yeah, He's got still his in the on water, the popper. Yeah. So there yeah. it is right there. Look, you got. Poppers and pinfish, baby. That's right. right here. <laughs> there they are, poppers and pinfish. Right there, a pair of cow dolphin, one on a popper, one on a pinfish. I don't see the fish, but they gotta be around somewhere. Back here, back here, back here. Back here. All right, where are they? They're here somewhere. You know, the thing about these dolphins, they're just so fast and they're on the move. They're chasing bait, they come around the boat, you know, you get a shot to get them, you've got to maximize on that brief opportunity because sometimes you can keep them around the boat and sometimes they just move on. There he is. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. No, oh, two on, two on, two on, baby. All right. Two on. <laughs> nice, say, hey, exactly. All right. Uh, yeah. Yours? Um, there you go. All right. Perfect. And that's the key, when you've got multiple fish on, just take your time, communicate, everybody work together, and you get them oh, all yeah. in. Take your time, once you start going crazy is when... Oh, nice fish. Yeah, but it's hard not to go crazy. Oh, but nice fish. All right. 
Got him. Nice gas. All right. All right. Nice. Nice, nice dude. Nice. nice. <laughs> All right. Beauty. Nice cow. Woo. All right. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. We made it happen the way we wanted it to happen. We talked a lot about how the charter guys, you know, your mentality coming out here, dolphin fishing. We talked about what my goals are, you know, coming out, trying to catch the fish the way we'd like to catch them, you know, on artificials and trolling a few fish on the lures to kind of scout them out. And then bringing the school to us, catching some fish on poppers and some, some on live bait. Today it seemed that the little chuggers were the ticket, but I'll tell you what, absolutely incredible. Hopefully you picked up a lot of tips. Make sure that you check out Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. It's fsftv.com, 300 instructional videos. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna help you become the kind of angler that you wanna be. Connect with the crew on Instagram at Florida Sport Fishing TV. Catch our extreme seminar series at www.fsftv.com and get hooked up. Yes, I got to go for it at some point, right?